it's not often an ultra-luxury vehicle gets a midlife update so extensive as the one found in the 2017 Maserati Quadraport, but as the Italian brand seeks world domination over its European rivals in what is a hotly contested segment, the refresh for this super sedan brings some much welcome changes. Love it or hate it, the Maserati Quadraport turns heads. If anything, that's a huge understatement as our relatively conservative looking $215,000, plus options and on-road costs, twin turbo 3.0 liter V6 silver quadraport test car attracted so much attention anywhere it went, we began to question the sanity of onlookers. It was genuinely a big surprise to see so many people point at the quadraport as it drove past, with some even taking photos. Strange indeed for it's a large sedan and not a supercar from sister brand Ferrari. Our conclusion was that perhaps the allure of the Maserati brand is much stronger than we give it credit for. For those of us in the car reviewing business, we have been somewhat hard on the Italian brand lately. After all, for some time, Maserati had lost its way and the essence of what makes a Maserati a Maserati seemed to have been exchanged for commonality of parts with the likes of Jeep and Chrysler. This hasn't exactly changed completely, and the Levant SUV is a case in point, for it's far too much Grand Cherokee and not enough Maserati, but the updated Quadraport is almost like a return to form. It's the first Maserati we've driven in, well, forever, that not only ticked all the boxes in terms of price, performance, comfort and luxury, but also felt grand and worthy of the Trident badge. The most notable update to the Quadraport is the front and rear bumpers, which bring a matte black profile at the front and the matte black extractor at the rear. The MY17 Quadraport now has more resemblance to the Levant from the front, but also utilizes active aero by the adoption of electric air shutters which, the company claims, reduce aerodynamic drag by 10%. The turbocharged V6 engine has seen its power boosted to 257 kilowatts with 500 newton meters of torque. It will now do the 0 to 100 kilometers per hour run in a respectable 5.5 seconds. It feels pretty quick for a car this big and the ZF8 speed automatic does wonders for extracting the most from the engine in the smoothest way possible. What really makes you smile, though, is the noise when sport mode is engaged. It's not the Ferrari-inspired V8 sound you might get in the GTS, but it's still very rewarding and certainly adds to the allure of owning an Italian car. We did notice in our test car there were occasional moments of surging when the speed was constant and the Quadraport was powering slightly uphill. The large sedan would surge forward slightly then stop and then repeat over and over. If we released the accelerator and retried, the issue would cease. Odd, but all part of the charm.